So, Infernax's Dukes or Die patch drop, and boy is it fun. It allows you to play together with a friend or alone where you control both characters. This comes with more monster spawns. Serval, the new guy, is mostly focused on range and support, with his main method of attacking being throwing axes or bombs. He also has access to a buff banner, bandages or potions, crossbow, poisons throwing knives, pretty big shields, and an eye mob summon thing that can summon up to five eye things that can explode. I want to add that Serval is pretty strong. Especially good Serval thanks to his crossbow and banner. The game has its own content warning, so if you don't like these things that this wall of text is displaying right now, go. But now that I've talked about Serval's basics, let's see how he works in an evil playthrough, shall we? I named my character's penis an asshole because it's funny. The beginning is nothing too special, only difference is that there's three people on the boat, as opposed to two. After killing the cursed man in cold blood, I've made my way to Darsov. Serval kind of trivializes the first giant goblin machete wielding thing. An old man gave me a key. This key is used to open the door in Velshire Keep, and then the suffering began. I struggled a lot in there. Be it dying to lava or just being bad in general. Oh. Later, I ate the wall chicken and learned that Serval's mother is a horrible cook. I proceed to struggle my way to the lightning spell which is needed for my run, and then struggled even more until I made it to the fat man. I killed it without being hit once. I just needed to go to Robert's camp so I could get a quest that is required for this run. I went back to Darsov, beat up a book for its lunch money, gave everyone in Darsov an upgrade to their heating plan, and bought a heart upgrade. I proceeded to go to the Combleton Necropolis, where I still struggled, but not as much as in Vailshire. I grabbed Precision Strike and Serval again and made short work of the big fat guy. Afterwards, I went to the building where you can get the Guided Strike skill, where I placed Serval's blue shield down near the edge of the arena. This made it pretty much impossible for the boss to hit me, unless it spat out the giant meatball, where I had to move to the other side of the shield and crouch to dodge that move. Servo proceeded to obliterate the boss using his crossbow while tactically taking cover behind his placed shield. Up next, I made it to Arkos, where I just like in Darsov felt really bad for the people that lived in this cold environment, so I warmed it up for them. I bought a couple of upgrades, went to an inn near a dam, and gave the good people of Arkos a little bit of water. As everyone looked a bit thirsty after warming the place up. Guess they weren't used to warm environments? Anyways, Stormville Castle. We proceed to... Um... Hold on. Wait a minute. This isn't Infernax. This is Elden Ring. Back to Infernax. Remember when I mentioned the shield? So we can cheese a part of Stormheim Castle with it. I used the shield like a platform to get the Sky Call skill and made it to the water thing boss. Man, I completely forgot what its moveset was, but I managed to kill it without any issues. So far, everything's been pretty good, huh? Well, this is where the fun begins. I sacrificed some guy and discard my old weapons for some new toys to play with. A great sword for Alcador and a plethora of new toys for Serval. We have reached the point of no return, and we push onwards. Later, we made it to Kostki, where an unfortunate and unforeseen lightning storm burned down the village. The people of Kostki seem to be in quite the pickle. At night, evil seems to roam in their village, and the people seek refuge in a temple where a sacred relic protects them. And would you look at that? I broke it. And I also accidentally slaughtered the priest near it. Kostki is now engulfed in pinkish smoke, and occasionally Sans Undertale will come pay you a visit. Anyways, whatever happened to Kostki wasn't my problem since I had to deal with cult business. Speaking of cult business... The good mayor of Kostki wanted me to bring him some new friends. I brought him his new friends and moved onwards. Up next, we had to do some more dungeons, so I went to the stronghold in Kijanto before realizing I skipped the dungeon. 
So, I went to the Kostsky Palace. First thing I noticed is that the palace is kind of different than usual. There's more platforms, and the room I hate the most got significantly easier. Thanks, platforms. Anyways, I got the Holy Charge skill, made it to the boss, and at this point I also realized that some bosses got more health? Or at least it felt that way? I beat the boss here without- no! Let's not talk about it. I didn't die there. Did you see something? I didn't. No, sir. I did not die there. I did not. So, onward to the stronghold in Kijanto Peak. Get the final spell, beat that Mushroom Man mini-boss, and then beat the Acid Man Fish Mega Boss thing with this one trick that melt... Wait. Did they patch this? God fucking damn it, they did. Anyways, I beat the Acid Fish thing the intentional and boring way, did some more cult-related business, and I've gotten mail from Robert. The man has invited me to discuss some things, so I told him to hold on, while I go get the drippiest drip the game has to offer. The drip was so drippy that I softlocked the game. Frustrated, I used my jetpack to make it back to that room, and somehow I made it out of bounds? I, I, I can't make this shit up. I just bonked against the wall, and now I'm outside the world, or something like that. Anyways, I beat Spider-Man again, got the ultimate drip, made it to Robert's palace, destroyed some of his walls, and stole the final weapons upgrade. Back to Robert. He wanted to start a war against the evil people that don't like the color red and the cult business. So, he hatched the plan that we, and by we, he meant me, I had to paint Darsop in an exact color. I agreed, since I had nothing better to do at that very moment. That night, we decided to gently knock on the gate of Darsov, so me and the boys could paint Darsov in red. The soldiers didn't seem to like this idea, since they started fighting us, which is kind of rude if you ask me, so we fought back, and won. Robert found some dictionary and asked me to kneel before him, I didn't want to, and he suddenly died. Having absolutely no idea what the dictionary is capable of, I decided to go to the Urzen Cathedral, where Thanos' number one fan could explain it to me. But before he could explain what that dictionary is capable of, a portal opened behind them, and tentacles killed the poor Thanos fanboy. Me and Serval were having none of that, so we both transformed into Batman, and then went into the portal, where a comically oversized goldfish with a couple of additional eyes decided to bite us. After flushing down that oversized fish, Alcador got crowned as a demon king. Alcador also got some ladies, and Serval became my swole bodyguard with cool as fuck horns. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you shouldn't call your children penis and asshole. Anyways, sorry for sounding nervous, it is my first time doing a voiceover like this. The next video I'll be working on is going to be less bloodstained. And that's it. Bye.